When you're a marketer, you want to create a personalized journey marketing cloud account engagement for your prospects. But without data, your options are limited. In this video, we'll show you how to use forms to capture the information you need to tailor the prospect experience. Let's get started. Account engagement offers three ways to engage with leads on your website. Forms built natively in account engagement, externally hosted forms connected via a form handler, and landing pages. All three can work together as part of your overall marketing strategy. In this video, we'll focus on forms created and managed within account engagement. The beauty of account engagement forms is that they give you a simple way to create engaging forms, even if you've never made one before. And they include some built-in features to make it easy for new, unknown visitors to become identified prospects and existing prospects to engage further. Here are just a few I want to highlight. Progressive profiles keep your forms short, only asking for more information when needed to build a profile over time. Dependent fields show only relevant questions, such as only asking for state or province when the country is United States or Canada. Prefill fields for cookied visitors make it easy for returning visitors to update their information or request additional information. Prospect resubscribe lets unsubscribe prospects easily opt back in. Completion actions add thank you autoresponders or other follow-up actions. Automations based on form views and submissions let you take actions such as adding or removing a prospect from a dynamic list. Use built-in and optional bot protection to reduce spam submission and help you maintain a clean database. All these features help you collect up-to-date information about your prospects and understand how they interact with your website. Check your technical setup before you start building forms. First, make sure you've set up a branded tracker domain to display your company's name on the form's URL. This will provide a better experience for your customers than a generic URL and is required for first-party tracking. Second, add account engagement tracking code to any externally hosted web pages. Account engagement landing pages include tracking codes by default. Now we're ready to build our first form. In today's example, let's create a form where prospects can sign up for our newsletter. We begin on the Content tab in the Account Engagement Lightning app. On the left-hand side panel, select Forms. Next, click the Add Form button to initiate the form creation process. Take a look at the guide along the top. The form wizard helps keep us organized as we build our form. We'll start by filling out the details in the name section. Notice the other fields here to track internal tags, folders, campaigns, etc. Choose a tracker domain if needed. Once you've filled out these details, click Next to proceed to the field section. You'll see four fields listed in the form field preview, but email is the only required field. Let's remove the company field to keep the form simple. As a best practice, include only the minimum number of fields on your form to make it more likely your prospects will fill it out. We'll keep the first name and last name fields. Let's edit first name to make sure it appears how we want it on our form. Label. This is what the prospect will see on the form. Enter. What is your first name? Prospect field. This is the field that your form will map to in account engagement. Type. Select the field type. In this case, we'll stick with text, but there are other options like date, checkbox, and more. Data format. Keep it as text, but you can choose other options. Be aware that you need to use text for phone numbers or numeric data that includes special characters. Required. Use this sparingly. Uncheck it for now. Notice the Load Default Data button, which can automatically populate settings from a field. This is useful for fields with complex setups or predefined values in account engagement, such as the country field. Next, we'll click on the Advanced tab. In the Error Message section, we recommend that you customize error messages for clarity. Edit it to say, the first name field is required. You can also configure CSS classes, add descriptions to include instructions for filling out the field, and more. The Values tab is for entering values for multiple choice fields. 
Check the Progressive tab to prevent this field from showing until other fields have a value. The Dependent tab allows you to show other fields based on the value in this field. Once you're satisfied with the settings for the first name field, click Save Changes. We would repeat this process for the other fields in our form. For today, we'll just take a look at the email field. Notice in data type, you can choose whether to accept any email address or you can restrict emails from certain servers. Now that our fields are set up, click Next to move to the Look and Feel section. Here, you can pick a layout template for advanced styling and behavior. Keep in mind, this layout template only applies to forms that are iframed onto external pages. If the form is on an account engagement landing page, the page's styling wins. Choose a landing page so you can save. Enter your submit button text. Add text above and below the form, such as the purpose and frequency of our newsletter. Apply styles to the text, such as font and font size. In the Advanced tab, you can enable Kiosk Data Entry Mode to clear data for events where multiple visitors might be filling out forms on the same device. Include a Not You link so the prospect can clear data on a form. Add bot protection using reCAPTCHA. This is in addition to standard bot protection that is automatically included in account engagement. After configuring the look and feel, let's move to the Completion Actions tab. Here, you can customize the thank you content. You can enter a thank you message directly. Enter, thank you for signing up for our newsletter. Add thank you code for external system tracking, like Google conversion tracking. Redirect to a different page. Adjust the waiting period after form submission, which is handy when you're testing a form. Just remember to uncheck it when you're ready to launch your form. Finally, let's discuss completion actions. You can use simple completion actions such as adding all prospects to a list. Set up conditional actions that take actions based on criteria like country or region. Once you've configured all the settings for your form, click Next. Be sure to preview your form to ensure it meets your requirements. When you're satisfied with the form, click Confirm and Save. If you want to embed the form on an external page, find the HTML code by clicking the View HTML Code action in the dropdown. For account engagement landing pages, you add your new form directly from the landing page builder. That's it. You've successfully built your first form in Account Engagement's Form Builder. Now you've seen how simple it is to build forms in account engagement. We want to share some best practices we've gathered from years of experience working with our customers. 1. Less is more. Keep forms short and relevant. 2. Be visible. Ensure your form is immediately visible on the page and branded. 3. Communicate clearly. Customize error messages, descriptive text, and placeholder text to make your form easy to understand. 4. Maintain consistency. Make sure that your form is consistent with the landing page and offer. 5. Keep it simple. Assume prospects will only scan your text. 6. Push to action. Include a clear and persuasive call to action. That wraps up our journey through account engagement forms. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com Thanks for watching.